Elizabeth Montgomery and Dick York were one of the most beloved couples on TV, charming audiences as Samantha and Darren in the iconic series Bewitched for its first five seasons. Their on-screen chemistry was magnetic, drawing fans into a world where magic and mundane life charmingly coexisted. But what most viewers didn't know was that behind the fairy tale facade lay a tapestry of complicated relationships, deep secrets, and hidden truths that touched on issues far more complex than vanishing household chores with the twitch of a nose. Facts First presents why Elizabeth Montgomery couldn't stand her co-star Dick York. Elizabeth Montgomery, Stealer of Hearts If there's one thing we can say about Elizabeth Montgomery, it's that she had a mesmerizing effect on the men who crossed her path, both on and off screen. Yet, for all the Hollywood heartthrobs and leading men who found themselves taken with her, Elvis Presley, Dean Martin, and Gary Cooper, to name just a few, none were as smitten as Dick York, her co-star on Bewitched. The duo's on-screen chemistry was the stuff of legend, making it easy to believe in the show's magical universe. Their pairing was so electric it often left fans and critics alike wondering if sparks flew once the cameras stopped. While Montgomery did have a series of tumultuous relationships, including four marriages and affairs that shattered households, her relationship with York took on a distinct flavor. The actor was so charmed by Montgomery that it went beyond mere professional admiration. Though details are sparse, what we do know is that York's deep affection for his co-star contributed to their eventual parting of ways. Tensions soon enough began to surface, sparking whispers among cast and crew about the state of their working relationship. Their onset dynamic shifted, leading to a complex mix of emotions that neither could fully navigate. It's a tale that remains shrouded in ambiguity. Though it adds another coating of complexity to Montgomery's already intricate love life, the story of her and York stands out for its heartbreaking in ability to resolve in either friendship or romance. The Silence That Speaks Volumes We often conflate on-screen chemistry with off-screen camaraderie. Yet, as is often the case, the world of Hollywood is far more complex than it appears. Such was the nature of the relationship between Elizabeth Montgomery and Dick York. In stark contrast to her deep friendship with Dick Sargent, who replaced York in the show, Montgomery and York never formed a personal bond that lasted beyond the confines of the set. The absence of contact between the two, extending over 25 years is a sobering reminder that chemistry in front of the camera doesn't necessarily translate to life beyond it. When York passed away, many expected Montgomery to make a public statement. She had, after all, spoken warmly about other departed cast members like Dick Sargent and Alice Pierce, but she remained silent on York's passing, leading to speculation and conjecture. Some might argue that this silence spoke more eloquently than words could. In fact, York himself had been rather vocal Vocal about his dissatisfaction with the working environment on Bewitched, once stating in a 1969 interview how unpleasant the atmosphere was and how he never missed the show. Clearly, his departure was fraught with underlying tensions, and these sentiments might have solidified Montgomery's decision to distance herself from him. It's essential to consider the personal dynamics that dictate such professional relationships. Both Montgomery and York had busy lives, filled with familial responsibilities and the unyielding demands of a career in showbiz. Once York left the series, there was little reason for them to maintain contact, especially in light of his disparaging comments. Furthermore, rumors that Montgomery held a strong aversion towards York are largely unsubstantiated and seem to be the stuff of internet myth rather than factual information. Just like with any workplace, you don't necessarily keep in touch with every colleague. And in the transient world of acting, this is even more the case. Life happens, people drift apart. Montgomery maintained friendships where there was mutual effort and emotional connection, as seen with her rekindling friendship with Dick Sargent. But with York, it was a professional relationship. Nothing more, nothing less. A job well done on both of their parts, creating a magical world that many still hold dear. But once the director yelled cut, they went their separate ways. This lack of a personal relationship doesn't take away from the brilliance of their on-screen partnership. Yet it does remind us that at the end of the day, Montgomery and York were not Samantha and Darren. They were were actors, skillfully performing their roles, living separate lives long after the cameras stopped rolling. 
Montgomery's scandalous onset affair. Behind the scenes, a much talked about scandal unfolded that left indelible marks on the lives involved. Montgomery, the embodiment of a spellbinding, enchanting wife on the small screen, found herself ensnared in a real life drama that dissolved two marriages. She met director Richard Michaels during the later seasons of Bewitched. Sparks flew instantly, leading to a passionate clandestine affair. Author Herbie Pilato chronicles this episode in his book, Twitch Upon a Star, describing how both Montgomery and Michaels became emotionally invested in this relationship. As the news broke, the fallout was immediate and devastating. Michaels, whose marriage was already on shaky ground, found himself divorced by 1972, the same year Bewitched ended its television run. Not long after, in 73, Montgomery and her then-husband, William Asher, also decided to part ways. The dissolution of these marriages served as a stern reminder of the intricacy and pitfalls of life behind the camera. For Montgomery, whose character Samantha was often a paragon of marital loyalty, the irony was not lost on her audience. The affair with Michaels put Montgomery in a vulnerable position professionally and personally. The repercussions trickled down to other relationships on set, adding a layer of tension that was impossible to ignore. It's worth noting that Michaels and Montgomery's lives didn't just pause after their marriages ended. Both moved on to new projects and relationships, but the chapter of their affair remains a fascinating, if troubling, footnote in the history of Bewitched. Bewitched Scenes of LGBTQ+. Just when you thought Bewitched was only about the simple, magical life of a housewife with a few tricks up her sleeve, consider this. It was also rife with themes that resonated deeply within the LGBTQ community. The show didn't shy away from tackling societal issues through metaphor, an avenue that allowed for a more palatable delivery of controversial themes. This was especially evident in episodes where the notion of the closet was at the forefront. For instance, in one one episode, a group of witches lamented their need to hide their true selves while discussing the risks they'd face if their identities were revealed. The cast was also peppered with LGBTQ actors, further emphasizing its queer underpinnings. Names like Paul Lind and Maurice Evans, who played Uncle Arthur and Samantha's father, respectively, were openly gay. Even one of the twins, who portrayed a young girl on the show, grew up to be an influential queer business leader. The narrative of Bewitched took an intriguing turn years after its conclusion when Dick Sargent came out publicly in 1991. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised that Montgomery and York weren't particularly close, despite their memorable on-screen partnership? Let us know in the comments section below.